uh, uh, Barry Gray, U.S. Treasury Office of Texas Social Assistance. I'm a senior advisor for uh, government debt and construction programs. Excellent. Um, well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Steve Gardner, and I'm the Chief Counsel for CLDP. Uh, CLDP is better known as the organization within the Commerce Department that is improving the legal environment for business worldwide. That's our motto. Um, we've been doing that for about 28 years. Uh, Danica's been around for a lot of those. 20 of them. Uh, 20 of them. Um, I've been around for 23 of them, but um, we're really happy to be here with everybody today, and thanks for, for joining us. Uh, I'm really pleased to welcome Adabak Nazirov. Uh, the director of Uzbekistan's Capital Markets Development Agency. Um, it's really um, terrific to have you there. Thanks for setting all of this up, and um, um, I hope today will be very productive. Um, uh, Amir Sultanov from the embassy, thanks for joining us today, and uh, all that you've done to work with, uh, to Rick, and My with Rick and Michael on, on all of the events so far. Uh, we have a lot of distinguished people from the United States uh, representing a lot of different agencies, but particularly uh, Barry Gray, uh, on the phone from Treasury and Aaron McCartney uh, from SEC. Thank you for all that you have done uh, as part of this interagency process to set everything up. Um, Director Nazirov, uh, as I've seen all the way through these discussions over the last five or six months, he, he has a vision. Uh, he wants to see thriving capital markets in Uzbekistan uh, and he understands the role that legislation and regulation will play uh, to make it happen. The United States government and our team of technical experts, we stand ready to work with the Uzbek government to do all that we can to create the reforms and the modern legislation that you might need to really turn your vision into a reality. So uh, we are here to help you however we can. Um, we all know that uh, well-regulated and transparent, competitive and innovative <coughs> capital markets have a unique role to play, particularly in a place uh, like Uzbekistan, which is bigger in size than California and almost the population. Um, really uh, that sort of transformation in a place that size in that region could make all the difference in the world. So we're really excited about uh, maybe seeing some of those things happen. Um, as is evident throughout the world, proper, properly established capital markets backed by robust enforcement mechanisms um, really have the potential to unleash the private sector. Um, and that's really what it's all about, is attracting more private sector investment uh, to the country. And this will help do that. Uh, USAID has been a partner of CLDP for many years, and they really come to rely on us. Um, to use uh, our techniques and our tools and our experts um, and the way we do our programming is through pro bono experts and working throughout the U.S. government and the, the interagency uh, to pull together the expertise that you need. Uh, we tell people all the time that CLDP is demand driven so if you and I can understand or we together can understand we're trying to get from A to B um, we will plan a course and we'll do that a little bit later today how can we get there and how can we help you get there? Um, we really have no interest in doing something that you're not trying to do. Um, this isn't about the U.S. government telling you what you should be doing. It's what do you want to do and how can we help? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's always been the way that we've worked. Um, we've had a really good relationship working with Uzbekistan in gosh, for a number of years now, uh, working on customs, speaking of people who work with us on customs and IP and standards and other trade issues. But uh, I think the with this cooperation, this initiative um, could take our relationship to a whole new level uh, and really uh, solidify some of the things we've been doing in some of the other areas. And I want to thank, uh, in particular, uh, Michael and Rick Stoddard for all that you guys have done to not only set all of this up, uh, but work for so many years in the, in the region and, and with Uzbekistan um, to accomplish so many things. Um, before I close, I did want to um, share, uh, unfortunately, the last time I was in Uzbekistan, was in 1993. Ooh. So it, I know it's terrible. And I, they sent me three years in a row to Kyrgyzstan a few years ago. I went, you know, I've been to Kazakhstan. I've done all sorts of other places. But um, it was 1993. But I'll tell you, I think about Uzbekistan every day. And here's the reason. Because when I was there, um, down one of the downtown markets, I had um, an opportunity to do a little shopping. I found a painting. Um, there was a woman who was sort of sitting in the corner, and she had painted a watercolor. Um, and I bought it from her for four dollars. And it's a picture of an uh, Uzbek man, about 65 or 70 years old, with a newspaper, glasses, and tea, 
and it's the most phenomenal painting. It's right at my door. I see it every day. I had it framed for, I think, $60 for <laughs> <laughs> painting. But I see it every day, and it speaks to me unlike any other piece of art I've ever really seen, and it's the most nondescript picture of a man drinking tea. And I don't know why, but it's just my favorite piece of art. So I have to come back and get another piece of art because that has really, you know, I show it to everybody. I, I don't know why, but I'm just completely drawn to it. And it cost, taste, me, cost me $4. Taste uh, Uzbek tea. Taste Uzbek tea, tea. exactly. <laughs> exactly. But um, really, I just want to say welcome on behalf of the whole Commerce Department and Secretary Thank Ross you. and everyone. Thank you uh, We're excited about the initiative. And um, I'm happy to hear what you have to say and get started working on all this. Thank you very much. Um, really pleasure to, to be here in this room and uh, to be joined by really a very impressive intra-governmental uh, group that was assembled uh, to support our initiatives. Um, also, personal thanks to Rick Statter, Michael Cofield, colleagues at the SEC and all other agencies who I think um, uh, found a way to um, believe in our ideas and helped us throughout the last six months or more to um, make this happen. Uh, I cannot tell you how excited I am to um, kind of have this uh, milestone reached by us jointly because uh, we were able to convince, uh, most importantly, the president of Uzbekistan that, uh, you know, looking at our uh, capital markets is an extremely important exercise and to v revitalize it to make it attractive so that it becomes a sound place to raise capital, to distribute capital and finance economic growth in Uzbekistan. So uh, we have a full support of the president. Uh, we, together with the Minister of Justice, Mr. Davletov, have now committed to work with you uh, and simplify, I think, you know, more than 100 uh, different uh, legal uh, documents in Uzbekistan that impact capital market uh, regulation rules and bring them into world-class standards, obviously utilizing, you know, the U.S. Uh, example and U.S. expertise. Um, to say that, you know, we are uh, not um, committed or to say that we are committed is uh, almost, you know, to say nothing. Behind me, you know, you've only been seeing my face, you know, uh, when you come to Tashkent, I'm coming to Washington. But behind me, there's a whole army of committed uh, colleagues in my agency, at the Embassy of Uzbekistan uh, in, in Washington, uh, colleagues at other agencies uh, in Uzbekistan. And also, I would say, people in the industry or people in the market, uh, the business people, the banks, who are all getting excited about capital markets. Unfortunately, uh, Uzbekistan capital market is tiny. It's small, you know, to say the least. I think statistics, um, if I'm not mistaken, less than half percent of GDP is the market cap of the free float uh, equities and bonds that are traded on Uzbekistan capital markets. Um, when we had that meeting with the president, he even, you know, reminded us looking at northern border uh, countries, Kazakhstan and Russia, their figures are close to 30, 40 percent of GDP. So that's how much gap and how much potential we have, which means all of that, if mobilized appropriately, could fit into economic GDP um, growth. Looking at or relying only on bank debt or international debt to finance capital markets will probably do more harm to the Uzbek economy and ultimately we might end up facing what other you know, states are facing you know, when uh, too much debt on sovereign shoulders is becoming unbearable. So the president fully recognized the importance of capital markets. We have his support, we have the support of his team, and uh, through this exercise, I hope we will have a functioning working group based in Tashkent, dedicated you know, uh, to ensure that we effectively utilize assistance provided to us, and that we immediately you know, deliver results. Um, Lastly, what I want to also say, you know, we recently have um, completed work on developing capital market strategy for Uzbekistan. That work is being incorporated into a presidential decree, which is uh, a draft presidential decree that's being currently circulated amongst 
um, other key uh, government entities. The next step would be to submit uh, an approved or agreed version of this uh, presidential decree to the cabinet of ministers, then to the administration, uh, which will lay out, uh, a ro will have a roadmap uh, on implementation of the strategy. And we shared with some of you uh, the concept of the strategy for the next five years. Main component of that strategy reform is obviously revision, upgrade, and modernization of capital market related laws. So it will be up to us bless you, and the working group to decide how far we want to go in uh, kind of capturing um, regulation or legislative um, functionalities of this reform. As I just mentioned earlier, uh, with Minister Davletov, we agreed that it probably will make sense to also review our company laws because the joint stock company law uh, and uh, LLC laws are again outdated, very uh, inflexible, unflexible, and it will make it difficult for you know any foreign investor to come in and understand uh, the foundation. So I hope we can expand the scope of um, the laws that will be captured under our engagement. Maybe not a first phase, but ultimately uh, in a larger uh, exercise. So with all that, I am extremely excited. Um, the only thing I lack in my colleagues is time. I don't think we have a problem with funding, as I understand. We don't have a problem with commitment from our partners, but we have a problem with time. And uh, the president is extremely, uh, I don't want to say impatient, but very ambitious. He understands how much we can do uh, and how much we must do. Therefore, uh, the will of Uzbek government is um, open for cooperation and to observe at this moment the best uh, practices that we can. So hopefully we'll use this window of opportunity in a short time. And as he said in his, um, the president said in his uh, address to parliament, that 2020 will be probably the most important year uh, during the kind of first phase of his presidency. And uh, we just need to help him, myself with my team and all of us, to deliver to the people of Uzbekistan what they deserve. And I think they deserve best of this world. So thank you again, everyone. And it's really a pleasure to be here with you. Thanks. Thank you. So the Uzbek government has gotten quite serious about creating its own capital market for the last um, two years, but um, it's still in a very primitive process, right? Would it be accurate to say that this is this is the earliest stages of a creation of a capital market uh, for Uzbekistan, as far as, as you're concerned? Well, um, w what's in the earliest stages is um, both reforming or creating uh, a, a legal and regulatory framework to expand the capital markets in Uzbekistan. So uh, the Capital Markets Development Agency has been working some time already in Uzbekistan with the market that's there um, and now the focus is on um, reforming and expanding the legislation to allow uh, a, a, an expansion of the capital markets. And how can the United States help assist? So the United States is already assisting in some ways. The uh, either Department of the Treasury, um, Securities and Exchange Commission, various U.S. government agencies are making experts available to the Capital Markets Development Agency, to other agencies in the Uzbek government in the form of embedded specialists who are working there on a daily basis side by side with their Uzbek counterparts. And what we're discussing today is how the commercial law development program at the Department of Commerce can assist with um, projects that the Capital Markets Development Agency has been given by the government to develop the legislation. So it's, it's purely technical assistance, right? Yes. yes. And you obviously your program, um, commercial law development program, has experienced, wor has experienced working with other developing countries. Correct. And you have worked in the former Soviet space before. Yes. Who have you worked with in Central Asia? Um, this is our first bilateral project in Central Asia. Previously, um, the focus of, of 
my office work in Central Asia has been regional programming where we work with all the countries of Central Asia to see ways to implement changes that will help ease border crossing and um, and sort of lower uh, barriers to trade on, on a cross-border basis. But in terms of helping a specific country with legislative reform, this is our first mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. And uh, Atabek Nazir, of the head of the uh, uh, Capital Market Development Agency, just told us that this is an inter-agency effort on behalf of the U.S. government, yes. right? Uh, what kind of challenges do you anticipate as you work as inter-agency, uh, you know, as part of the, uh, the, the, the inter-agency effort? I think uh, one of the biggest challenges with the interagency effort is time and coordinating schedules. Uh, sometimes the smallest matters can become the biggest obstacle. Uh, in that sense, um, that aside, I find that the interagency people we've been dealing with on this issue are uniquely eager and uniquely helpful um, to lend their expertise to make themselves available. Hopefully that will, everyone's schedule and other constraints will allow that to continue. And so far the interagency process has been an issue of agencies trading their strengths with each other, which has been welcome. Um, and so there, there really haven't been, the challenges maybe as we get down the road we, we'll encounter other challenges of course. I think working with any large group of people there are challenges inherent just in group dynamics, but um, I'm very encouraged by the way this group has worked together so far. Mm -hmm. And what should be the level of, I guess, patience and tolerance when it comes to something like this? Because, uh, as you know, the, the Uzbek government wants to deliver, and Atabek Nazir have just mentioned that President Mirziyoyev is eager to see progress in this field. So what would you advise them in terms of, like, you know, patience and pace? Um, I think that um, Patience and um, thinking things through, especially at the beginning, is a better guarantee of, of the work progressing at the tempo it needs to, to satisfy the deadlines that are, that are stated for the work. And so it can be counterintuitive that we need to slow down in order to speed up, but I think that that's, that's my advice. Let's make sure we all understand the scope of the, of, of the assignment and let's take time to carefully think through, even you know, painstakingly maybe think through, but that time invested at the start will translate into the ability to function later in a flexible and quick manner. So in a way, it's okay if things start slowly, but pace yourself. Yes, and start slowly, not simply in order to start slowly, but start slowly in order to set them up to then, to then move the way that they need to move quickly and thoroughly. Um, and with the end goal in mind. This is actually an intergovernmental effort between uh, several agencies of the U.S. government, including the State Department, Department of Commerce, uh, U.S. Uh, Treasury, Security Exchange Commission, all of them coming together to un uh, make an assessment of our existing capital market infrastructure, our capital market laws, and see how they can assist us in upgrading it and uh, making it more effective so that it is become uh, understood and uh, acceptable by international investor community. As you know, capital markets are most advanced in countries like the United States. They are dynamic, uh, they are free, and the rules of regulation and enforcement capabilities are very much uh, have a proven track record of, you know, hundreds of years. In Uzbekistan, in a new economy that is just growing and trying to put its own footprint on global financial markets, it is very important that we take best world practice and obviously uh, you know, the United States is a place to come. Mm -hmm. You just said something really interesting. You said that the capital market in Uzbekistan right now doesn't even constitute half a percent of the GDP. The, the, what can Americans do now to help you push that forward? Well, the Americans obviously have an expertise. Uh, as you know, the rule of law in the United States, the respect for law and the way the legal architecture is structured is very friendly towards the investors, towards capital owners, towards minority shareholders, and the rules of engagement between those who seek capital and between those that have capital are very uh, straightforward, transparent, and understood. So we need to find a way how we can learn from this experience and uh, bring the best practice to Uzbekistan's capital markets. Everything that has to do with uh, 
interface, as I said, between the issuers and investors, the relationship between uh, the corporations and the, the shareholders, the, uh, the board of directors. Um, all of that is, uh, at the end of the day, will fall onto the legal framework and how individuals involved in, um, in the system interact with each other, how they solve their res uh, disputes, how a court system acts, is the court independent, is the securities market regulator independent. All of that uh, is part of the building of market economy. And this is something we desperately need. And capital markets allows attract financing outside of the classical banking sector. So you are basically asking the United States to be as constructive, as open-minded as possible as they go in, right? You are definitely anticipating a lot of challenges there because it's not easy to bring together interagency efforts of the Uzbek government. Yes. What are some of the major challenges that you see in front of you now? The major challenge is to be able to relay the importance of uh, capital market infrastructure to our partners in Uzbekistan. To the system, basically. To, to everybody who is involved, to the stakeholders. As I said, classical model of developing or financing the economy in Uzbekistan was through the banking system and by using state guarantees to borrow, to borrow from international financial institutions. But what the domestic capital market formation allows is to creating an independent ecosystem where private sector can mobilize capital and the relationship between investors and those that use proceeds of investments have more fair ground. So it is a critical component. Unfortunately, because the system never existed in Uzbekistan, it is not always easy to uh, get people on board, to have a buy-in. So a lot of uh, hand-holding, a lot of educational, but it will take time, we'll get there.